everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Um, this should be an intro to a what's sold video. I'm in the garage, putting all that stuff away that's all listed. Pulling like six or eight orders, something like that, uh, for today as well. I'm sorry there hasn't been as many videos lately. It's just been super, super busy here. Um, kind of put YouTube on hold a little bit because I'm trying to get caught up on my death piles with video games and stuff like that, get the storage unit more organized. It's actually gotten crazy and I haven't even put the new shelves in yet. I need to get that done. And just been busy in my personal life. So I appreciate you guys who are still with me. Uh, I'll still make videos. I'll try to at least do one what sold per week. So we stay on top of that. Hopefully sprinkle in some other stuff too. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please take care. Hey everyone, back with the sales for Monday. Uh, six sales here. I got one more to show you guys later. Unless anything else sells. Uh, not a huge day, but definitely moved some stuff. The Haynes uh, repair manual. This one's not from the $500 lot, but I did pay a buck fifty for it. I paid, got another one for a buck fifty with it as well. The Jeep ones always seem to sell for me. This sold for thirteen ninety nine shipped. It'll just go in a bubble mailer and go out media mail. Here is a player player character record sheets from Dungeons and Dragons. You can see there's some sheets in there. This thing is beat up. Um, this sold for fifty shipped on a best offer, so that's awesome. A survey of the New Testament. I paid a dollar for this, um, like textbook, and it sold for fifteen shipped. And then another Epson Inc. 252. This one sold for 21 shipped. I lowered the price on them down a couple bucks. I want to try to move them out pretty quick. So 21 shipped there. A Genie Remote again for 22 shipped. And then lastly, a GameCube game. It's a sports game. NHL Hits 2003 disc only. Uh, this sold for um, like 13 shipped, 12 shipped. I don't know, something like that. 12 or 13. Um, another one of those sports games that does actually sell all right if you have it. If you have it complete, you can just get like 17 or 18 bucks. Um, sometimes you have to wait. The market's not huge, but it will sell. So that's it for right now. We'll put that one in a uh, blank case, and then we'll pack everything else up, and then I'll show you what sold, uh, or the, the other thing that sold that's in the storage. Hey, everyone. Final sale from Monday. Two GameCube controllers, or controllers, memory cards, <laughs> sold for 16 shipped. I think I had about a buck or two in these and they sold for 16 shipped. We'll go first class. These always sell pretty quick. Hey everyone, back with the sales from Tuesday. Pretty good sales. They actually sold a bunch of ink. Two Epson 252s. These came out of that big ink lot. Those sold for 21 shipped each. And then also from the same lot, an Epson 159. That's the gloss optimizer. That sold for like 12 or 13 shipped. Here is a... Um, Complete Beethoven edition CD set. I bought three of these, I think, for a buck or two for all three. First one sold for 30, and then this one sold on a best offer of 30 as well. This is one where I send an offer out to the watcher and they took it. That's my son down there. Playing with a Wii controller. Um, here's a Genie Garage Door Remote. I've been selling these. That sold for 22 shipped. MLB The Show 15 sold for 8 shipped. Um, here's an Acura troubleshooting. Um, Manual for the electrical for an Integra 92, still sealed. Um, that sold for a best offer, 25 shipped. That came out of the big manual lot. Chess book, Botvinik on the end game, sold for I think 20 shipped. This is also one where I sent an offer out to watchers and he accepted. That came out of the $60 chess lot. This is a Kansas City Gaelic, Gaelic, come on guy, <laughs> athletic club. He's playing with the broken ones, but. Still loud, sorry about that. Um, this sold for $42.50 on a best offer. I paid five or six bucks for it while in Florida, so that was a good deal. And lastly, this is a Genus. I don't know if you can read that, hopefully. There it is. Um, it's a matte box, I don't know, extended. It's for a camera or something. I have no idea what it is. I ended up paying... Um, 25 bucks for a bunch of camera stuff from one of my sources. This was in there and a couple other things. He told me this was worth over 100 bucks. I looked it up and saw some of the stuff does well, but none really sold in the used condition. I did a little more research and then found exactly what it was. You'll see it on the screen. And took a best offer of 170 shipped on this um, in a used condition. So whatever this is, um, apparently people are willing to pay up for it. So 170 shipped. I had paid 25 and I got a couple other parts. So... I'll pack these up and you should see what sold for Wednesday. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Back with the sales from Wednesday. A good little mix of stuff here. And I got one other thing to show you so far that sold, so I'll hopefully show that in the next clip. 
Uh, big thing that sold was these um, Time Life Old West books. I think there's 23 here or something like that. There's 27 maybe in the whole set, 22 or 27. They were a buck a piece. Uh, I didn't even take all the stickers off. Yet. A lot of them they have it off, but some of them I didn't even get them off. They're from the library that I buy from, but they were actually half off that day. So I paid whatever that is. Eleven fifty, I guess it would be if there's twenty three of them, something like that. And they sold on a best off for a sixty five. The whole set can go for about ninety to a hundred, if you have them all. I didn't feel like chasing down the books I didn't have. Didn't feel like I really would make much more money once I paid for the books, so I just sold them. They're going to California. They do ship medium mail, so um, I got the two stacks over here because it was so heavy it was kind of bearing down the table that I use. I'm actually gonna get rid of this table and get. Um, a bench here pretty soon kind of like the one Lonnie has maybe even that exact one if you've watched his video just something a little more sturdy because this table kind of here it's starting to wear down over time it's just a little folding one that I got and um, it's just it's done its job for the time being but it's time to upgrade so yeah those are 65 they'll go medium mail it'll still probably cost like I don't know 15 or 20 to ship I'm guessing maybe 20 something just because of the weight even though it is media but um Overall, you know, I'll still probably make another 20 bucks or so when it's said and done, so not too bad. Harley Davidson button front shirt, uh, short sleeve. I forgot what I paid for this. Maybe 10 bucks, 11 bucks, 8 bucks, who knows. Um, it sold for 35. Should have had it for a while, but someone finally came through and we went back and forth and we agreed on 35. Um, I'm okay with that. I want to get rid of most of my clothing stuff. Um, I would still pick this up again, but I want to sell as much as I can. I don't want to hold on to it forever. Taylor made a uh, 200 um, head cover here. This one, it goes to the, it's like for a wood or something like that, not for an iron or anything, but I have a bunch of these. Um, I bought a whole box of these and a bunch of golf spikes for shoes, brand new. Whole box full of them for five bucks. I've sold like three or four of these for anywhere from eight to 12, 13 dollars. And then I sold a bunch of the spikes for like probably 30 or 40 bucks. So. Overall, pretty good. That one sold for 13 shipped. I got a whole bunch more, so hopefully over time they'll all sell. Another one of those little Pocket Pro helmets. This is the Dallas Cowboys one, my team. Um, hopefully we'll do well this year. We'll see. Uh, this is was listed for 20 and it sold for 20 full price sale. So I've sold a bunch of those over the past couple months. I paid 15 or 20 for a whole box, a whole case of them, and I've been selling them for anywhere from 10 to. 20 something dollars so pretty good shrek gamecube game sold for like 12 ships shrek extra large so um, does not have the watch that goes with it but um, pretty cool so that sold for 12 ship um these epson inks i've been selling them. i think you guys have seen them actually in the video clip right before this but i sold three more today these two sold together for 41 dollars to one buyer and this one or 42 and this one sold for 21 to one buyer so i've almost sold out of those that's from the big 500 hundred dollar ink lot a Bose remote here. This goes to one of the Soundwave systems or whatever. I don't know which one it is, but it's like the first one, Generation 1, I think. This sold for 10 ship, paid a buck, put a new battery in there that I had ordered for some other stuff. I needed one, and I happen to have an extra one, so I put it in here. It works, and at least it, the signal works in there. I think um, Andy did a video, but a bunch of people have done videos about putting your camera and looking at that thing. You know, if you see a light, that means it's probably good. Um, and then here is a DLC 7. Cuisinart um, stem for the food processor. I bought one for ten. And I've been parting it out. I got two. They had two of these in there, so this first one just sold for eleven shipped. It'll go first class. I have one more sale. Like I said, hopefully you'll see that next. And anything else that sells, if not, we'll see what Thursday brings. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. One more sale here. A little genie remote sold for twenty-two ship. Hey everyone, back with the sales update for Thursday. Not a whole lot of sales, but uh, what did sell was pretty good. Start off with the clothing. This is a Hanes. Um, like I think it's a 90s or 90s uh, t-shirt. You'll see in the listing, it's like a Hanes Beefy Tee. It's black, just plain. I paid $3.49 plus tax for this at a thrift store. I showed it in one of my holidays. I bought a bunch of old vintage, um, like plain shirts, black, gray, white, um, yellow. There's some Screen Star ones, Screen Star and Hanes. Um, so this one sold right away. Listed it within like two days. It sold, not right away, but within two days for a best offer of 28 ships. So pretty good deal for a plain t-shirt. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, the movie for GameCube, disc only, just kind of put in this regular case that sold for 11 shipped. Two more Genie remotes going out for 21 to 22 shipped each, so that's pretty good. Um, an Xbox 360, 
sold for like 45 or 46 bucks something like that shipped this is not the great one as there's no hdmi port usually people want the hdmi one so i was surprised this one even sold but happy to get rid of it um i don't know what i paid for that probably 10 bucks or something while back when i bought a bunch of video games in bulk um and lastly an epson hx20 um, this does not work. I plug it in and it's got some issues. Um, I sold it as is. It's still sold for $87.50 on a best offer. Comes with this pretty cool case, the power cord, some extra cables. This came in a big lot that I spent $80 on at the state sale um, and ended up probably selling four or five hundred dollars so far, something like that. It's been quite a bit and we still have a few leftovers. So it was a great deal. Um, but this sold today for a best offer of $87.50. Hey everyone, back with the sales update for the weekend. As you can see, all this stuff sold, nothing crazy. It's like 21 sales here, plus two more to show you guys later. Um, very thankful for what sold. Not a huge, you know, money-making day, um, but definitely got some stuff out of here that's always good. Always gotta be grateful for what you do sell. So, best things probably were all these Epson inks. They sold in bunches to different people. A couple people, I think, bought two sets. They sold for 21 each, so that's like, whatever, 42. Um, and then a couple of the three other people I think bought individuals. We're almost out of these. I think we have one or two left. Um, these are all from that big $500 ink lot of all Epson ink. We made a ton of money. In the, sorry, that's my cat in the background. A couple thousand. Um, I think probably closer to almost $3,000 in sales. Uh, that doesn't include taking off the fees and everything. But happy to get rid of those. Another one of these little Red L um, Pocket Pro, like the old style helmets. This is the Bears one. Sold to a guy for ten bucks. I don't. I think he's bought from the helmets from me before. He made an offer on another one, and I wanted a little more for it. He declined it. Looking back, I probably should have just, you know, made him take it because I could have shipped them together and saved a little bit of money that way. But oh well, we'll get rid of that. I'm selling them now at about ten bucks if someone makes an offer. I paid fifteen for all of them, and I probably sold a hundred and fifty bucks almost or so, and I still have like fifteen more. So they ship at like two something. I probably make five or six bucks per sale. A couple more garage door remotes. These sold for 21 each. Or 22. 22 each, I think. I'm um, down to like six left, so happy to get rid of those. This is a Simply Safe home security unit. Right there, you can see the brand. Paid 24 or 20 bucks for this at a garage sale. Yeah, let's say that 40 was the end of the day. I said, hey man, I was buying some notes for five. I said, would you just take 20 on that? And he looked at me and he just kind of shook his head and he goes you know what sure just take it so i was happy about that that's why at late in the day it's sometimes it's good to throw out some offers to people if stuff's been sitting because sometimes they'll be wanting to move it i probably would have paid like 30 if he would have countered or try to get maybe get him to 25 but he took the 20 so i was happy this sold in one day for 125 shipped use if you do buy it, you have to buy the service with it too it's just you get all this stuff so happy about that another cool sale this is a bunch of um ho scale by Volmer, um, like buildings and stuff. These ones are like for a refinery or something like that. I bought a bunch of train stuff for like four bucks in a box. It was buildings and trees and different stuff. Most of it was kind of beat up and broken. A couple pieces were still in the box and that's why I bought it. This was all sitting in there and I looked it up and someone like in Canada or England or something had sold one for like 40 bucks, one of these pieces. It was complete, the whole building and everything. As you can see, mine are all just random pieces. This is the best one, whoops, but it's actually damaged. It's got some marks there, and it's missing a hose right there. But um, someone sold like a complete one for 40 or something bucks, so I was like, well, maybe they have some value for parts. I listed them for 50 or best offer because there was nothing really on the market, and someone paid 50 bucks for them. So I'm so surprised because I almost threw them away, but um, it was worth it. Listed them, 50 bucks, sold within one weekend, so happy about that. I paid 4 bucks for all the train stuff and all the other stuff I bought with it. Should still make me another probably 30 or 40 bucks as well. An Energizer um, sealed battery for like a uh, video camera. This sold for 30 shipped. I think I had two bucks in that. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Paid a buck for this. Couldn't remember if it was worth anything or not. It's worth eight bucks. It sold within one weekend. No manual, but oh, that's okay. Um, Legend of the Liquid Sword CD sold for 11 shipped. That came in a big CD lot. Apple, um, or not. This is the Mac, what is it? OS X, I think. OSX Leopard version 10.5. I paid four bucks for it at um, Angel View thrift store near me, and it sold for 25 shipped. Xbox One Family Fun Pack. This sold for 11 shipped. Some of these um, Hasbro Xbox games, like the Family Game Night and stuff, some of them actually sell. It's 11 bucks. It's not a ton, but 
might be worth picking up. A Western Digital um, external hard drive, I think it's a 300 gig. That one sold for 25 shipped. Here's a Kenwood, this goes to like a CB radio. I bought a bunch of these little holders here, holster things, in a bag at Savers for like five bucks or four something, and this was the only good one. The rest were all off-brand. Uh, this sold on the best offer of 20 ships, so I'll make a little bit of money. Happy to get rid of it. Here's a Franklin Webster's Spelling Corrector. This one's not too valuable. I paid 50 cents, but it sold for 12 ships. Happy about that. Here is a Ermin Gildo Zegna, I think it is. Ty, hopefully that's right. Uh, I think it was like 12 bucks or something it sold for. I don't sell a lot of ties. I'm just happy to get rid of it. And lastly, these are a pair of Joe's jeans, size 33. Um, you can't really see the... Maybe you can see it there. You should see, you should see on the screen. They sold for 25 shipped. Had to open up to make sure I had the right one, but those are getting out of here. So that's all that sold right there. And hopefully I'll show you guys um, in the next clip the other two things that sold and possibly some more. Everyone back with the final sales from the weekend. Uh, sold this Brock Lesnar Suplex City WWE shirt for 15 shipped. I think I paid two or three bucks for it. Like I said before, I always sell the WWE stuff. The shirt just dropped. They always seem to sell. Um, usually for anywhere from like 15 to like 25 bucks. Some of the older ones go even better. These are a bunch of puzzles. These are shimmels or shamels. Pay a dollar a piece. There's eight of them. They're all sealed. They're all like animal themed. There's like wolves and different cats and stuff like that. Um, bought them out at a, like an estate sale a while back. Had them for a long time. You can see the, the picture of the listing. It looks horrible. Didn't crop it or do it right. So that was bad on my part. But um, these sold on the best offer of 70 shipped, so I have 8 bucks in them. It's still going to probably cost like 25 to ship them, uh, but it's going one state over. So probably wouldn't pick them up again. They took forever to sell, um, but I'm happy to get rid of them.